welcome back hello guys welcome back to salesforce anytime channel today we are going to talk about uh, how you can export workflow rules metadata in your salesforce org so that you can analyze those uh, metadata and uh, move those uh, to flows uh, if needed as you know that salesforce already has uh, retired the Sales, uh, salesforce workflows and process builders so in case you have like many workflow rules sitting in your salesforce org then um, those workflow rules actually would still work uh, for some time as you could see in the timeline section uh, so you would not be able to create any new workflows or any new process builders uh, by now but uh, the existing workflows are still going to work but the problem is that uh, if you already have a lot of uh, workflow rules in your system uh, the salesforce system then uh, if at all you need to make any modifications then that would be a problem right so the the ideal way would be to create a record trigger flow if if you would um, to satisfy those requirements so in order to do that uh, you need to first um, analyze uh, or maybe document all the workflow rules what they are doing right um, so if you go to salesforce um, like uh, in the workflow rules section here is how you could see your workflow rules and if you have many workflow rules in your salesforce org then this is list going to be very big right so 100 200 in some cases 500 workflow rules right and then it's very difficult for you to like uh, navigate first of all for each object um, and unless you named it very properly like account dash uh, for account workflows but then sometimes it's not named like this and you have to search the workflows for each object right or you could create uh, different views um, to display the different object views a uh, different object workflows sorry but then um, it's going to be a little difficult to uh, and also like once you open the workflow in salesforce it's not easy for you to like differentiate because then the actions will be in different and you have to open each and every workflow to analyze those workflows right so it's practically becomes difficult if you have like 200 to 500 workflows in your org to analyze all of them so okay so let me log into the pack magics here using what 2.0 so i'm just going to sports developer or in your case it could be sandbox or your production arc so i need to access that it can access this the workflows Okay, so, so here's uh, export workflow rules. So once you select that, it would show you the objects which uh, you can select to export the workflow. So I'm selecting account object and I'm clicking on get workflow rules. So you can select multiple objects if you have multiple objects that has workflows so right now i had only one workflow that's why it showed me one workflow here so if your account object had like 100 workflows let's say it would have displayed 100 workflows here with um, the workflow object name the workflow rule name and if it's active the description of the workflow what's the trigger type and what are the criteria it has to execute what are the actions it has um so it will execute those actions and then remaining parameters here so this is how you can export the workflows and you could also download this um, list of workflows in on your system so that you could document this as a requirement to convert it to flow so i have a libra office since i'm using linux but you could open excel very well so this is what I got in Excel or Office, you could say, right? So 
all the workflows what uh, the object for the objects you selected would be downloaded in in this format and you could easily analyze those uh, lay down the requirements uh, for in order for you to convert those into flows so thank you very much for watching this video i just wanted to show you this very easy to export the workflows thank you very much again uh, please let me know if you have any comments regarding this video any feedbacks would be appreciated Bye.